how do you start a project in AI, machine learning, and deep learning? I recently did a poll on my channel to see how many of you were interested in starting a new project in AI and machine learning. And about 90% of you said you wanted to start a new project. So today I want to make sure that you not only start a project, but also you pick a very good project that will help you learn and also make sure that you complete these projects. Because believe it or not, coming from someone who started plenty of projects, it's really easy to start one, but it's really difficult to actually complete one. So I want to make sure you have all the right tools and the mindset to actually finish a project, something that's unique, something that has your own ideas in it and something that potential employer would actually see and value it. So here's my breakdown of how you should start a project in AI, machine learning and deep learning. First and foremost, you need to stay interested in the project, which is why it's very important that you pick a niche that you are interested in. And don't worry about skills because skills in machine learning AI in general are very transferable. Once you've worked in one area or one field, you can always transfer those skills over to another field that you would probably want to work on later. So as far as developing your skills and getting some experience, pick a niche that you are interested in. It should not be a niche that's easy to work with because I can tell you like if something's really easy to perform, it doesn't have value and also you will lose your interest very quickly. So pick a niche that you're interested in, even if it's really hard to work with it, even if there's no data available or whatever, like we will figure out those problems as we go along. So first pick a niche that really interests you. If it's sports, pick something in sports. If it's something to do with videos, like pick something with videos. For example, if you are a software developer, there's plenty of avenues for you to explore in AI and ML that has an impact on software development. Believe it or not, a lot of applications that uses AI and ML require significant in software development. So ask yourself in your current role, like where do you see most of the data coming from? So with that in mind, you picked a niche, you have a broad sense of view of problems that you want to solve and what type of problems your company or this particular field is actually facing. And then the next part is depending on the journey you're in, there's essentially two stages for this project. Like for example, if you're an absolute beginner, you haven't done any projects before with AI and ML, then you might want to start off with a very small project that somebody has already done. It's, you know, pretty straightforward. You quickly learn the terminologies involved and what we call as like standard operating procedure in terms of what you should do and how you should do it and why there are certain things that you shouldn't do. So that first project will get you kickstarted into what you will be doing next, which is the real project, the project that has some of your own ideas, your own creativity. Now, if you're someone who's worked with some of these simple projects to learn AI and machine learning, you kind of know the background, you know how different concepts work, you've trained a few models and seen how it works, then your next step should be trying to add some value by showing your creativity, your ideas. And by the way, if you feel like you don't agree with everything I say here, do let me know in the comments below. And if you have something more to add in terms of what is the most challenging part about starting a project, do let me know in the comments below. And I know that I want my viewers to start new projects and, you know, get better at this. So do check out the link in the description to our Discord server where we already have over 100 members and we always have like these discussions about different ideas to explore as a beginner level AI ML project. Again, this server is completely free. This discussion is completely free because I do want to keep all the learning stuff out there for people to access for free, regardless of where you are, because I I know that there are people who are at the beginner level learning programming all the way to some people who worked with AI and ML in this group. So it doesn't matter what level you're at. Do join the Discord server, engage with one another. And I hope that this becomes a community that can support everyone who's learning and trying to transition into this field. Most importantly, something that's free, something that people don't have to break the bank for. So get involved with your comments and smash that like button. All right. So now you you have a niche that you've selected. And then also depending on your experience, you are either looking at two stage projects or just a single project with your own ideas embedded
embedded into these projects. So you've made these decisions. Now what you need to focus on is actually put this idea on paper. So you'll probably explore a lot of ideas. Not all of them are going to be successful, but regardless of which idea you pick towards the end, you have to start making a plan for this project. So what I would recommend is actually write down what this idea is about. Write down what problem you want to solve, because when you put things on paper, it's more clear, not just in terms of what you need to do to get there, but also in terms of the challenges that you may encounter. And the most important part of this stage is that you have to give yourself the time to explore these ideas, which is why, again, I say join our Discord server. We are going full throttle ahead to help people develop their ideas. I actually have a couple of my own ideas in there, so do check them out. Remember, the goal here is to get started with a project, get it going to a stage where not only are you learning something new, but also you're showcasing your skills. And that leads me to my next point. You have to decide the scope of this work. So think in terms of what roles are you thinking to apply for, whether it's data scientist, machine learning engineer, machine learning researcher, or just data analysis, whatever it may be. Think of what role suits you the best and then ask yourself, what skills do I need to learn? What skills skills do I need to showcase in this project? So that way, you know, a future employer will be impressed with your profile and would be willing to hire you on as a full time employee. So this scope is very important for your project because you can always start a project that never ends. In fact, every project people start is a never ending project, but you have to define and say, hey, this is what I can do in this amount of time. And that leads me to the next point. You have to decide on how long you're willing to effort into this project. Do you want to work on this project for six months or a year? How much time do you have? That's a simple question you have to ask yourself. Believe me, based on what I do for work and my experience, I feel like in about three months, which is full time working on the project, you can get this project going and get it to a stage where you can demonstrate this to somebody out there, whether it's your future employer or your current manager for a promotion, whatever it may be. I feel like three months is a good starting point. You won't have the end product by the end of three months, but you'll have a prototype that you can actually demonstrate. But ideally, I would give at least six months to finish and work on a new project. So now you have the scope down on paper. Now you can think of some of the challenges that you will face right off the bat. One of the main challenges which people encounter in AI and machine learning, not many people talk about this directly, but it is definitely a challenge and that is gathering enough data to train your models. Is the data biased? If it's biased, how do you generate or get more data that will help your model generalize a little bit more? And the second part of this question is another thing that people don't talk about is actually resources. How much resources resources do you need to train these models in terms of GPUs or CPUs? Especially as a beginner, you may not even have access to the GPUs that you need to train your models. So you do have to think about that at this stage in your project planning. Now, some of these problems can be solved. You can ask yourself like, can I get some access to GPU somewhere? Some of you may not even have access to high performance computing. So you're limited to your personal laptop. So just be mindful about these things. Having said that, there are ways that you can deal with these problems. So I wouldn't completely throw your ideas out if data and resources are your two main problems. And regardless of data, resources, and these sort of things being a problem, your next step that you need to take is you need to talk to people, present your ideas. Discussing your ideas with other people is very important because they can help you poke holes into your ideas and it just makes your ideas way better. And also, if you have some problems in terms of, for example, I said about getting more data or finding resources to train the model, probably when you discuss about these things with other people, they might have a solution for you, especially if you find someone who's experienced, who is knowledgeable, and you try and present your ideas to them, there's a good chance that they might have a better understanding of what you're trying to do. That's why I will say again, Check out the link in the description to our Discord server and join our community. Now, don't forget that you don't have to wait to find the right people to connect with and have a conversation with and share your ideas and get their thoughts on your ideas. You can actually start this process even without meeting anyone. And that's by reading research papers, looking up at online resources, web pages, GitHub repositories, LinkedIn, because these platforms do already have people presenting their 
their ideas and their work. So you get exposed to what's out there and what people have worked on, the challenges they are facing, and these sort of really important tiny insights that will help you formulate your idea. So now you have a niche, you've picked out a path, you have a plan, you kind of have an idea of what skills you want to learn and what skills you want to present through this project. And then you also know some of the people out there who are also working on this project and they've agreed to, you know, help you mentor you or whatnot. And you found like a community that works for you. And the next step is very important. And that is take that leap of faith and start laying down the bricks to build that project. But just like any project out there, you have to remember that you cannot do things on your own. Sometimes you need a team. Sometimes you need a group to work with. So find a learning partner, find somebody who's just as enthusiastic as you, just as interested in, as you, preferably in a same or a similar learning curve that you are in. So that way, you know, you can hold yourselves accountable and also support each other in completing tasks and understanding concepts and also build a meaningful person in your network. These are all very important things. If you do these things that I've mentioned in this video, I am very confident that you will end up not only learning the concepts that you should know, but also building a project and taking it to a stage where you can actually showcase it or present it to somebody who wants to know more about you. Like I said, I wanted to keep this video short, so do check out the link in the description for our Discord server. In the meantime, if you feel like there's something important that I have not mentioned here, do let us know in the comments below. It's not just me looking at your comments, but it's also the rest of the world, the rest of the community who will be looking at your comments. Your voice is heard, and I look forward to turning this into something amazing in a few months time and I will keep you updated on that so stay tuned to the channel and I will see you in the next one.